Big news recently out of NASA's Johnson Space Center with the appointment of the first African-American director in the Houston Space Center's illustrious career. And that new director is here with us now. There she is, Director Vanessa White. Ma'am, thank you so much for being here and congratulations. And everybody can tell I'm just a little bit geeked up because we're just, we're still just kids at heart. We all wanted to be astronauts at some point. And we're talking about your appointment here now. You have put in, what is it, 30 years? at NASA. Uh, it's weird to think um, that uh, I was going to ask you ready for the job, but you've been ready and getting ready for this appointment for a long time. <laughs> yes. Uh, so so nice to meet you. And I have uh, been here, yes, for actually 31 years. Wow. And um, I started my career here as a project engineer back in the shuttle days, uh, flying uh, projects uh, on the space shuttle. Uh, and working my way up through the system, through the shuttle program, uh, many different um, organizations that I led, and now uh, to this place to be a director of the entire center. Now, I don't want it to get lost on us here. We do so many, um, we've had so many interviews. Really, people are the first African-American, the first Latino this, or in all these appointments, you certainly clearly are qualified, ready, have been with NASA all this time. But still, I, I want to make sure I ask, and I don't want it to get lost in there, the significance of you being the first African-American at this Johnson Space Center. Yes, so, uh, you know, it's, it's humbling and it's quite an honor. Um, this organization, our mission is, you know, to put humans in space safely. Uh, we currently have humans on orbit on the International Space Station, and we've been flying them safely there for over 20 years. Uh, and so, as you know, um, that we're preparing to go forward to the moon. And from there, we'll go on to Mars. So we have a big mission, and it is quite uh, an honor to lead this organization moving forward. Amen. And I will tell you, though, uh -huh. um, you know, I agree. It's it's very important um, to to honor the fact that I am the first. But I look forward to the day when we don't have the name first, when this will just be a matter of course. Absolutely, absolutely. So let's get to that work. And you mentioned the moon. When are we going back? Oh well, we are currently <laughs> we're going to have a mission coming up. Uh, the end of the year is what uh, we're hoping for. Uh, maybe early next year. Uh, that we will have an unmanned, uncrewed mission uh, called Artemis One, and uh, it will go uh, to the vicinity of the moon. And then after that, we will have humans on board on the next mission, Artemis Two. And uh, they will go, they won't land on that particular mission. We're building our current uh, landing system. And um, once we have that, we'll be able uh, to land. And we're, we're looking very much forward to doing that very soon. We see so much emphasis. Uh, of course, uh, the, the Mars mission now uh, that's, that's currently taking place, uh, Perseverance, that's taking place now, right? We, that got a lot of coverage and a lot of attention. It was just wonderful to see um, that pulled off. But also so much attention is going towards the, the private companies that are now uh, starting to take people to space. Do you, do you find yourself, uh, in your mind, you're not in competition but in partnership? Absolutely. We're in partnership because right now uh, we're launching our Americans again from American soil uh, from uh, our private uh, companies that are our partners. Uh, SpaceX um, has begun uh, flying and um, they're taking our crews to the International Space Station. Boeing uh, is also one of those companies and we're going to have an um, uncrewed mission uh, for them as a test flight coming up uh, at the end of uh, this month. And then we'll have both of them capable of carrying our astronauts through the International Space Station. Right now at the same time, you have uh, the private companies that are doing their own missions. And I think it's awesome because what that does is it opens up the space economy and mm -hmm. it'll allow us to have more people. And of course, with competition, it's gonna drive down the cost of access to space you for know, all of us. What do we tell kids these days? And, and maybe you get a sense of maybe kids are still uh, going into um, the STEM fields or still a great interest in the STEM fields. But what, what do you tell to kids? Because it inspires them to look up on the screen, to see you uh, as the head of a center, to see uh, a, a rocket taking off, to see astronauts in space. But what, besides that, how do we continue to encourage kids? And what is the advice for parents, would you say, if they want to kind of direct them that way or maybe just encourage or nurture uh, an interest they might have in the STEM fields? Absolutely. You know, I believe that it's important for them to see so that they can experience for themselves the fun, the excitement, the joy. Uh, as a young kid, I personally did not have access to uh, STEM um, technology programs, but mm. 
my brother one uh, one Christmas got a chemistry set, and he and I did experiments in the backyard, and I got hooked from that. And so I know that going to space camp or going to uh, different summer camps uh, where kids have that hands-on experience, it gets them excited, and uh, then they be- want to become a part of it. And then they learn also, you know, that they can do it. You know, it's this is this is for everyone. Space is for everyone. And not all of our jobs are STEM jobs. You know, we have uh, lots of other jobs. We have communication specialists, so we would love for you to join us. Uh, But we have lawyers, we have uh, doctors. There's uh, lots of different professions. It's not too late, Mama. I can still join NASA. Uh, Vanessa, (laughs) thank you so, so much. And do I have right that, I mean, I want to put this out there. I think you all have a deadline for internships. Uh, that's tomorrow, right? I mean, put that out there if you want to recruit some kids and they, right, they'll I have it right. I do, I do. I want to recruit. And yes, yeah, so our, our internships uh, for the fall, uh, the, the application period closes on tomorrow. Okay. So go to intern.nasa.gov and put in your application. We would love for you to join us. All right. Well, my my future boss, uh, NASA Director of the Johnson Space Center, Vanessa Weich, congratulations and thank you so much for being here. We will see you down the road for sure, okay? Absolutely. Come visit me. Absolutely. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.